Good evening, everybody. I'm doing my hot topic assignment for Professor Carter in my sport law class. My article um, was about Chad Ochocinco, a former NFL player. He used to play with the New England Patriots and then he played with the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I totally identify him. I totally remember him seeing him in NFL um, matches and wearing the Miami Dolphins uniform and the New England Patriots uniform. I think he was before that with the Cincinnati Bengals. So he's a really well-known guy in the NFL world. My article um, states that Seco uh, which is a beverage brand, they do coconut water uh, and they're all about like staying organic and staying natural, do not use steroids, anything like that. Um, they they sponsored uh, Chad Ochocinco so they were uh, giving him money uh, he was representing the brand and different places but the problem beca the problem came when Chara Chusinko physically abused his former wife right now they are divorced but at the time uh, she used to be her wife so they he hit her and uh, with his head he hit her he hit her body like this he hit her and it came all over the news the Miami Dolphins cut him from the roster so he is no longer playing with them or any team in the NFL at all um, and Seiko the brand they had a contract for him and in the contract it says refrain from engaging in any conduct that disparages or reflects unfavorably upon Seiko. Uh, talking about Ocho Cinco, in other words, uh, he's not. He's he needs to stop any conduct that disparages or reflects unfavorably upon Seiko. In other words, um, don't make the brand look bad. Don't make the brand look bad and don't make the brand look less than what it is. I think the Sicko brand was very, very smart in the contract because they introduced a couple keywords. For example, any. Um, disparages, reflects unfavorably. Unfavorably, I'm sorry. So, Sicko would definitely win the case if a if a judge looks at the contract, physical contract itself, and looks looks his quotes, it's just gonna instantly rule over the brand, over the player, because it is just stated in the contract. And as we uh, read on our on our sport law sport law books, contracts are really, really, really important. Like the wording, it's key. And it's just, you're just supposed to follow what it says. Now, in terms of what I think about the article, I think it was really fun. Fun to read. Because I totally, as I said before, I identified Chad Ochocinco playing out on the field. Um, I like what Seiko did. Because as a professional athlete, not even a football player you're an example for many many young players that are trying to get to your level and that means not only sports wise I think every professional athlete should be a very good citizen it, it should have very good um, manners it should have very good morals and it should be a very good example for our future generations thing what Siko did is uh, admire it's to be admired because probably 
more people are gonna know. I mean, probably Seiko's gonna win more money keeping Ocho Cinco than losing him because he's well known. So Seiko eventually will lose money, but they they're looking at the company like as they're taking care of their of their image as a company, which I really like. And Seiko is is trying to get around forty eight million dollars from Chatter to Cinco, which it, which to be honest is way too much money. But we'll see we'll see how the judges rule. Thank you.